Well, good morning, my darlings. How are we all doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you are watching from the United States, then happy Thanksgiving. I wish that we celebrated it more here in the UK. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it's only my American and Canadian friends that celebrate it. But today is a day of celebration because it's my birthday. <laughs> I say that very excitedly, but I'm actually not a massive birthday person. Like, obviously it's lovely to celebrate <laughs> your birthday, but I don't know. I'm just not a huge, huge birthday person. I don't like to hype up one particular day and I don't, for someone that's entire job is all about putting themselves online, I actually really don't like it when it's all about me. <laughs> So yeah, having said that, today is going to be a lovely day. We are about to go to Dalesford. I think that we're allowed to get takeaway lunch from there. Um, they have the nice kind of salad area. They've got pizzas which you can take away and I believe we might be allowed to eat them outside there, which would be wonderful. I've already had a very nice morning. Um, I did a 45 minute peloton, I had a really nice pampering shower. I have a product shout out actually. So in addition to my, ooh, <laughs> in addition to my usual shampoo and conditioner, I used this, which is from Sunday Riley, it's their clean rinse. It's called a clarifying scalp serum because I don't know if you remember in previous vlogs, I've been saying about how I felt like I've had loads of product build up and my hair's just felt really like heavy um, and flat. So I researched Kulp, Kulp Skinsers, Sculpt Cleansers. This one had really good reviews and I feel like it's really worked. My hair feels really nice and light today. It was a little bit tingly on my scalp when I was using it, but I guess that means it was working. It says it gets pollution, product build up, dead skin out of your hair, so that was great. And then I used all of my most pampering products after the shower. I used my By Terry Balm de Rose Body Cream. It's almost like a thick jelly, it smells so good. I used my new Very Bougie Serum. This is from Clay de Peau, and it's this kind of moon iridescent. I'd love to know what the name of this collection is, but the packaging is all a little bit kind of Swan Lake inspired. My first bit of skincare I've ever tried from Clay de Peau and it's lovely. And then because it's my birthday, I decided to do a glittery eye. Now, I don't know if you'll really be able to tell, but I used, this is the Gold Obsession Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. Um, and I used this lovely sparkly pink shade. So I did a very soft pink eye. Um, oh, I've got quite a bit of fallout though. Yeah, and then I've got a little bit of glitter on because if you can't wear glittery eyeshadow on your birthday, when can you? And then I have got just a cute little jumper on. This is my, so far my best Cyber Week purchase, All Saints jumper with the stars on it. I think it's perfect for the birthday girl. And I have got some of my favorite jewelry bits on. These are all from Majuri, who I'm so happy to be working with on this video. What a dream come true to work with such a gorgeous brand on my birthday. I could have filmed this video for Majuri any day, but you know what? I thought, let's do it on my birthday because I just love them. And what better to wear on my birthday than some of my favorite jewelry pieces. So I've got all of my like usual favorites on. And by the way, a lot of the jewelry that I wear on an everyday basis that I get so many questions about is Majuri. So I'll show you um, the bits that I wear every day. That's what I love about Majuri. They're very elevated pieces. You'll find solid gold, gold vermeil. Is that how you pronounce it? Vermeil? Vermeil. And one of my friends actually asked me what gold vermeil is the other day. Basically, if you imagine, um, so we know that some jewellery is gold plated, which is, it can, it can be any metal, usually I would say like silver, and then it has a thin layer of gold, maybe sprayed, maybe dipped over it to give it a gold finish. Gold vermeil is like a thicker layer of gold, so I think it looks Better. It's also a lot better quality, it's longer lasting. So if you are wearing these pieces as everyday pieces, then gold vermeil is better than gold plated. So a lot of the Manjuri pieces are gold vermeil or they are often solid gold as well. So back to my kind of everyday pieces, this beautiful, very, very dainty pearl bracelet. This is something that I just never take off. 
never ever ever take this off you will have often seen me wearing this with a slightly bigger pearl bracelet as well also from Majuri but this one is half very dainty pearls half a chain so lovely for every day I just think it's so elegant and then on this hand this is my favorite ring cluster so this one is just really striking with the three lines and then this has got a little row of diamonds and this one's got a lovely row of diamonds. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this cup, this little duo. I think they look so beautiful together. Uh, like a white, almost like ceramic it looks like, with little diamonds in there. So they're like my everyday pieces. I know you guys have seen my beautiful diamond hoop earrings. Really, really small diamond hoops. Again, just really nice for elevating an everyday outfit. You maybe don't want anything too striking, but you just want something really dainty and elegant and very easy to wear, but still very elevated. So that's why I love my little diamond hoops. But today I switched it off a little bit. These are the loveliest, very hard to show because they're so delicate, tiny little hoops with little pearls on them because I'm actually fairly pearlless today, which is quite unlike me. And then I have layered up a couple of my favorite necklaces. This is the little locket necklace, which is another of my favorites from Majuri. I hope it's not bad luck to not have anything inside your locket. I wonder where I could get a teeny tiny picture of Dexter and Dickens printed. <laughs> I don't know. And that, oh, and this is also really adjustable. So I could have it any length that I wanted. I could wear it as a short locket. I could even make it a good couple of inches longer, but you can just pop it where you like. And then this is the loveliest necklace. I think it's actually a zodiac. Got this lovely cluster of stars on there. And I just think a pendant, a very simple pendant like this, is very, very effective. Also a couple of diamonds in there. So yes, that is the jewelry that I have chosen for my birthday. I will probably switch in a couple of different pieces throughout the day because I have actually got some nice things going on today. So as I mentioned, I'm going to Delson for lunch and then um, I've got a Bi Terry Christmas event on Zoom at five o'clock. Charlie's cooking a pasta evangelist. I can't wait. After that, and then I've got a Zoom with two of my best girlfriends at eight o'clock. So I might actually like get dressed up for those fun things this evening. So maybe I'll pop on my diamond hoops and my chunkier pearl necklace but anyway before i get too distracted this week as i know you all know is the most amazing week for picking up some beautiful things in the sales so what majuri are doing is 10 percent off one piece 15 percent off two pieces or 20 percent off three pieces so obviously i would recommend picking up three pieces i'm gonna leave everything that i'm wearing here linked down below as well as a link to a page which is specifically for my kind of edit of my favorite things from Majuri. I think they update the website every Monday, so check it now and check it again on Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday will be your last chance to use that amazing discount, so maybe you might want to drop some hints if you are lusting over any of these pieces for your birthday or for Christmas or treat yourself. I absolutely think that these kind of pieces that you wear every single day, it's a really personal decision, so why not treat yourself to something absolutely lovely? And a final note on the price point of Majuri pieces. For me, they're that real sweet spot because they are, I mean, the jewelry itself, as I've mentioned, the highest quality materials, really fine jewelry, but not at fine jewelry price points. Jewelry is one of those sectors, like perfume, where the markups can be absolutely crazy. And yes, the price points of Majuri pieces are premium, but you are getting absolute luxury pieces. As I said, these are the pieces that I wear every day, hand washing, showering, swimming. I don't take them off because I'm just com because I'm confident with the quality of these pieces and they're just timeless. Every time I make a jewelry investment, it has to be a timeless piece because th firstly that's my personal style, but also I want to be able to wear these things with all of my outfits and for many years to come. So <sighs> the perfect pieces to be wearing for my birthday and beyond as well. Okay, darlings, I think I am going to, I was going to say get changed out of my leggings. I only really wear leggings these days, um, but I don't think I can be bothered. <laughs> I think I'll just put some nice boots on and then with a nice long coat, you won't be able to tell that I've got leggings on. <laughs> right, let's um, finish getting dressed and head to Dalesford. Let me show you some of the lovely prezzies that I got today from Charles. So 
The main gift I will show you later is actually turn you around to talk to you. Ooh, my camera started zooming itself in when I first turn it on and it's very annoying. Um, my main Prezi <laughs> is actually a an advent calendar. So every year Charlie puts together a very wonderful advent calendar and he fills it with 24 or 25 lovely little bits and bobs and I get to open it and enjoy it every single day throughout December. Last year he popped in the most amazing things like there was a an evening at the Blenheim Light Show at Blenheim Palace, an overnight stay in Woodstock in the Cotswolds. Little did we know that a month later we'd be looking to buy around that area. Just some really fun experiences like that. Don't know if we'll be able to have any experiences like that this year. We shall see. My goodness, my skin is glowing. I have to say, I've been doing the LED mask every other day for the last two weeks now and I think it is making a big difference in my skin. I notice that my spots are healing much quicker and I'm just generally nice and glowy, which is fab. So yeah, that's the kind of like main Prezi. Some other lovely bits and bobs. So we're obsessed with this company called the Oak and Rope Company. They make things out of oak, as you might be able to guess. And my favorite weekend breakfast is egg and soldiers and someone asked me why they were called soldiers the other day and I don't actually know but I guess it's because when you cut the toast up into little slices they look like little soldiers I don't know there's probably a historical reason as well but this is a little egg and soldier platter for my weekend breakfasts and I thought this was clever so the oak and rope company use their off cuts of wood to make these little napkin rings which is lovely then we have this wonderful cookbook, Sunday Times bestseller, The East Cookbook, Vegan and Vegetarian Recipes from Bangalore to Beijing, because I love the taste of these kind of dishes. We do like to eat, oh that looks so good, meat-free in the week, and I always find these kind of Indian-y style recipes are just the most flavorful. So I'll very much look forward to looking through here. Some other lovely goodies from Charlie Dexter and Dickens. Some practical ones such as a really good hard drive. Gotta store those Vlogmas videos somewhere. This wonderful Christmas tree charm from Dexter actually this gift was. And it is a gold lion. And Dickens got me a gold elephant which is really cute because I always think when he runs and his ears flap out he looks like Dumbo. Whereas Dexter is most definitely the Mufasa of the household. Sorry, Charlie. Ooh, some Dalesford cheese knives, because I like cheese. It's tradition that Charlie always gets me some Sweaty Betty socks. <laughs> a very practical tradition, because they are the best gym socks in the world. So I have a lovely selection of Sweaty Betty socks. Ooh, and then these are rather amazing. These are from Nkuku, and we've just spotted actually that they have a 20% off sale at the moment. That's where our coffee cups are from, um, in case you wanted to invest. And these are little napkin holders, and they're so beautiful. They're like a brushed bronzy gold, perfect for an autumn or winter tablescape. They'll be lovely, I think, for Christmas as well. And then another of these amazing Soho House books. So we have this one on the coffee table footstool at all times and Charlie has got this one for me for my birthday and how funny is this we were just flicking through it on the sofa this morning and we opened it up to this page and this is actually the butcher in our village how crazy is that we did know that they're the ones that provide the meat to um Soho House but I just thought that was absolutely bonkers so this is a great little oh look at that great coffee table book that is actually very enjoyable to look through Oh, there's a whole chapter on coffee char. Is that? Oh, hoo, hoo. I'll have a look through that later. Oh, and another very practical for a countryside gift. This is a welly boot bag. So if you are ever going to Soho Farmhouse or you are going to a friend's or a parent's house and you don't want to put muddy wellies in your car or you just want to carry your wellies if you're going by train or something, this is a welly boot bag from Le Chamu. I think if we were clever, we could probably fit both of our wellies in here. But how wonderful and practical. Thank you, darling. Cute. This is a bunch of tulips from my friends Vicky and Hannah. Looking forward to celebrating it with you on Zoom later. The most beautiful bunch of tulips. 
Put those in some water. Okay, fed and watered. That was a delicious overpriced salad from Dalesford. Absolutely scrumptious. I've just come up here to do a little jewellery switch around. So I've still got the necklace on. I have moved my triple layer ring over to the other hand. Excuse the mess in the background. Let's just rotate a little bit. Um, I have changed into another pair of earrings. This is my most unusual pair of earrings from Majuri. If you look closely, they are actually a very small diamond hoop and then a larger plain gold hoop and you can kind of squeeze them in to make them a little bit more like huggies. Looks like you've got two earrings in when actually you've just got one in and I just think they're really rather lovely. And then this is another of my favourite rings from Majuri. It's quite, it's a little bit chunkier. Great if you want to make a little bit more of a statement whereas the middle finger rings are a bit more kind of everyday elegant. So I thought I'd just switch it up a little bit and then I might switch it up again for my zooms later on today. I think we've probably got about half an hour until it starts to get dark. That is the one thing I wish I could change about my birthday. The day just goes too quickly because for me, when it gets dark, that's like the day done. <laughs> but we're gonna make the most of the remaining light because as I'm sure you saw from the drive to Dalesford, the light today is pure magic. So let's go and walk my little boys, all three of them. Well, today is certainly all about balance. As I am enjoying my green juice, I hear the the cobbles on the driveway going and lovely Lucy has delivered the most incredible birthday treat. Look at this, oh my goodness. A pink birthday cake, which we'll be demolishing after our Carbonara of Dreams later. And, oh my gosh, Dalesford Rosé, organic rosé frizzante. And, oh my goodness, so spoiled. I'm gonna have a little rummage through here after we have taken, excuse the bins, the chaps out for their walk. Oh my goodness, I am spoiled today. Bear. There is a life I lead in this city Where we sky is cut pink. my teeth I can take what I need to get by Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back from our walk and I had 
a very, very quick makeup top up, ran a hairbrush through my hair, looking a bit frazzled, and I'm just about to join the By Terry Zoom event for this evening. Annoyingly, it's not working on my tablet like it normally does, so I'm gonna join on my phone, but as you can see, I have got my ring light ready to go. Honestly, provides the best lighting, and I think I'm gonna paint my nails with this sparkly OPI. The state of my nails right now is not looking good, in desperate need of a post-lockdown mani, but I feel like a little bit of sparkle will make it all so much better and then they'll match my jumper as well. Okay, the Zoom is almost over. They're just doing a couple of Q and A's at the end. I think um, Terry de Gunsberg, who is the founder of By Terry, I think she has quite a lot of her like friends, journalists in this Zoom and they're just kind of having a bit of a catch up, which is really cute, but I thought I would check in with you. I am on mute. <gasps> Goodness, that could have been so embarrassing. Really, really lovely Zoom event. There were lots of ideas on how to do some of your own personal illustrations on your Christmas wrapping. I will definitely be trying those out and they also sent a lovely watercolor kit. I think tomorrow it's gonna to be quite miserable outside so we'll do a little bit of gift wrapping. There is also a very, very exciting launch coming from By Terry very, very soon, which I cannot wait for. I don't think I'm allowed to say what it is. It's coming at the end of January, but it's something that I will be investing in the second it is released. Cannot wait to try it out it let me just say it is going to help with the area of my complexion that i am most self-conscious about hmm. <laughs> that was a little bit of a hint for you so now i'm gonna head downstairs when the zoom has actually finished i'm gonna head downstairs um and actually relax for a little bit because i have been doing a little bit of work today with it being cyber week so I'm gonna head downstairs, relax for a bit, hang out with Charlie, help him with some cooking. He has ordered the carbonara of dreams from Pastor Evangelists, which is my absolute favorite. It is so, so tasty. I think he's ordered a four person portion for two people because my one niggle with Pastor Evangelists is, like, is that I could always eat about 10 times the amount in each portion. And then we have the lovely birthday cake that I can enjoy for my dessert before my Zoom with the girls later on this evening, which I need to set up the Zoom for. Here are some more of the lovely decorations that, oh! <laughs> Mummy was just about to sit down there. You're so territorial, you little monkey. I love you so much. Um, where was I? Some of the other lovely decorations from Char. I can't remember if I showed you these earlier. A little radish, a watering can, Oh no, I already had that one. <laughs> and a little donkey. What do you think, Dag Dag? It's not a dog treat. Lala gave me a sausage dog tree decoration and this little boy thought it was a toy and started to shred it. It's not for you. Oh! We are taking liberties today. We are taking liberties, my tin 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 scratchy snout, scratchy snout. Hello, small. Hello, small. Oh, and I did end up painting my nails during the Zoom. However, where I've got gel, yes, young man, where I have got gel on and it's starting to grow out a little bit, you can kind of see the ridges. I think it looks better than it did, but it's not my finest work, but I matched the Christmas tree and it does look... <coughs> what was that? And it does look rather lovely and festive. Charlie's cleaning the fire. had the loveliest cake <sighs> feeling very very spoiled today i've come upstairs now about to do a zoom with two of my girlfriends vicky and hannah so i'm going to quickly top up my lipstick charlie's hopefully bringing me up a glass of champagne oh my god this mask is amazing it's know, so right? good you have to do it every other night but i honestly think it's making my skin so much better and you just you you so once you bought it you don't then have to like throw them out yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. you have to wash it. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. 